economies at both local and global scales. Unfortunately, Pag-asa is foreseeing the onset of El Nino, which will make its presence felt in June in our country this year. OIC Pag-asa DOST Neptune Catarata said that they have been closely monitoring oceanic and atmospheric conditions and confirmed that there will be an El Nino this year in our country. Sa Pag-asa, noon ay dakong chance na yun ay El Nino ngayon 2014. In a province such as Negros Oriental, where the planting and harvest of crops is closely observed on the basis of chronological patterns, any disruptions in these timings could have disastrous consequences. In making matters worse is the fact that most farmers make a living from harvest to harvest with hardly any government assistance. If their planting and harvest timings are disrupted, they become the most affected sectors during El Nino. Uh, kining El Nino, mo ni siya ay uh, pag-ubos, no? pag-unhod sa atong rainfall sa no? So, again, ikot, ikan niya po na sa climate change, sa global warming, uh, nagiging abnormal na ang atong uh, temperature, ang atong rainfall. No? Ang magkawala ang tubig, no? So, ang agricultural areas magka-dry, so makulangan ang atong production sa atong mga agricultural products. Kinahanglan yun nato ang tubig sa, sa atong uh, inadlaw-adlaw gamit sa, sa atong kanimalay. No? Kung wala'y tubig, isod ka yung uh, pagpadagan uh, pag o paglihog sa atong mga tao. Fabre also added that once it occurs, it could also affect the normal rainfall pattern in the country, generally resulting in reduced rainfall. It's an abnormal, no? abnormal phenomenon sa, sa atong, yeah, atong klima na all again, no? either mo reduce ang rainfall or mo sobra po ang rainfall. No? Kung lanin niya kung sobra, ilin niya kung makulang ang ulan. No? So sa pagkakaroon, ang ilin niya mo ay dakot kayo trip no tungod kay pa-trade up mo kunya tanan ang yuta no so pag mag-trade up halos wala tay production sa agriculture sa atong Pilipinas tako gay tako siya gay epekto sa atong livestock tungod kay mga matay pud tong atong livestock kun kay wala siya tubig because of the fact that we can't prevent such phenomenon we must at least take precautionary measures to mitigate possible impacts of el nino fabri says ang el nino dili na kapugnan but ang katawhan pwedeng mo mitigate no mo adapt no so kung ganahan ta og mo adapt mananom ta nga katong resistance to uh, dry dry katawa no paginit no kung gusto pud da og mo mitigate uh, maghimo ta og mga deep well so mag paghimo uh, ta deep well or small water impounding so magtigom ta og tubig para nga makasupply ra gyapon sa atong kuan so mo na siya atong a resident of Tanhai City, Amidina Villafranca, is upset about the extreme heat caused by the El Nino. Kainit karon maka-affect sa akong panglawas. Pagsigig sakit ako ng ulo, ug sakit na kayo sa panit. Ang sobrang kainit karon grabe na jud. There are ways which we could do in order to lessen the heat that we are experiencing now, Amidina added. Para malessen ang effect sa El Nino, Pwede tang mananom o mga kahoy para madubangan ang kalanton o makuwaan ang kainis sa akong paligot karong panahon na. According to the local LGUs of Dumaguete City, more than 8,000 forest tree species have been planted this 2013 in over 3 hectares in different barangays in the city. Together with this, Dumaguete City Environment and Natural Resources Office or ENRO reported an increase of 2% of forest covers from previous 28% after three years. And according to Arasio and Cabo of Enro, the city has strengthened its greening program through massive tree planting and growing to further address climate phenomenal events. In Cabo said, the program component has an annual target of planting, caring, and growing of 2,500 seedlings as part of the city's corporate responsibility and contribution in arresting the alarming worldwide problem of global warming. Local rice seller Fausto Sumanay Jr. said that the supplies of rice in our province are not badly affected by the El Nino. However, it has increased the prices of their products. Wala rin ko yung pagkaon, mga bugas, lakas ng supply. Ang problema lang kayo mo, 
Musaka girl, the language of Saka. Sumanoy also added that in case of rice shortage, the government will also help supply and if rice to the people. Supply the lama in the pera sige, pero talay lang mo tao sa wapu mango lang in the pera. Di man ay atak sa mga retailer kay ibalik yam ano? Wal, mahal si na retailer ko di man ay atak sa mga retailer. Katalay ra. The Regional Agriculture and Fisheries Information Section introduced some ways in order to mitigate the impacts of the El Nino through a forum together with the Philippine Information Agency or PIA. And their main goal is to inform the people that whether there is an El Nino or not, it is important that we are always prepared. Climate change is one of the most fundamental challenges ever to confront humanity. Its adverse effects are already being seen and may intensify exponentially over time if nothing is done. We must now decisively deal with climate change to ensure sustainable development, eradicate poverty, and safeguard economic growth. Global climate change will affect people in the environment in many ways. Some of its impacts like stronger hurricanes and severe heat waves such as El Nino could be life-threatening. And as the earth keeps getting warmer, the negative effects are expected to outweigh the positive ones. At this point, we all know that we can't prevent climate change from occurring, but we can perform ways to lessen its effects. Thus, a broad set of technical skills will be needed to plan for and respond to a wide range of unpredictable occurrences. And the backbone of these efforts will be improved through knowledge coordination, collaboration, information exchange, and institutional responsiveness. The more we learn about how climate change will affect people in the environment,